Thank you for staying with us on Y254 Business Tuesday. If you're just joining us tonight, we have MC Sefa in our studios who's going to talk to us about uh, his uh, career in the business world, or rather as an entrepreneur, he's going to talk about some of the challenges probably that he has faced as a young person. And also, how does he get to balance between schoolwork and all the projects that he has taken up? And be part of this conversation, talk to us across our social media platforms, that is at, at Y254 channel. You can also reach me at Patricia Morioki. Thank you, Sefa for joining us. So Sefa is a founder of um, The Scoop, uh, that is a vlog, and also a marketing agency. He's also the founder and CEO of MC Sefa so, uh, Event Solutions. So most young people are thinking and are seated somewhere right now thinking about, I want, I want to go and uh, finish school and wait for the government and get this nice office job, probably a very good uh, salary and all that. Why did you choose to probably not sit and wait for that and run with other young people, government create jobs and all that, and choose to take the line that you, uh, the, the path that you chose? Yeah, first of all, uh, thank you for hosting me. You're uh, welcome. I remember the last time was Valentine's <laughs> <laughs> and uh, back yeah. here on, uh, on official duty. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say that one, uh, taking the initiative to start up my own uh, company or my own initiative to maybe gain some, uh, earn a living using it is mm -hmm. basically motivated by the fact that we all have dreams mm -hmm. to achieve and we all have uh, things that you want to do in our <laughs> career before maybe we are done working or maybe we retire. Mm -hmm. And they all depend on different lines of, some depend on education, some depend on uh, how you plan your life. So I felt like starting a company for me would be the best way to go in terms of uh, achieving the dream that I have mm -hmm. because I want to be part of an event organization that is big. Mm -hmm. That's why I started the event organization. Mm -hmm. And also about the marketing, I feel like it's part of what I'm passionate about. So it's all about passion, mm -hmm. uh, other than sitting down and waiting for maybe employment, just taking part and uh, starting your own uh, mm -hmm. career. Okay. Yes. Uh, you started, you've started this while you're a student. Yes. Probably, how are you able to go in between, make sure that you're doing well in your school projects? Yes. And uh, we've talked not only about one project, mm -hmm. uh, but um, Three, how do you create the balance, literally? Because probably there's someone watching us tonight, they're in school and they feel, I cannot manage to hack all these, let me wait probably and graduate and all that. So how do you balance? I think if you're able to start up projects which align with your career choice, that mm -hmm. is in school, you'll be able to line it up. Mm -hmm. Like I do media, I'm a journalist. Mm -hmm. So I chose something that one deals with media, that is the scope whereby we're doing videos on media, we're trying to feature do like live shows mm -hmm. and feature young people who are trying to maybe make it in life, artists mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. So it's aligned to what I do in terms of my career. So mm -hmm. it's something that I'm passionate about and it's something that I can juggle between work and all that. Okay. Yes. Uh, with the uh, MC Sefa Event Solutions, yes. we know since uh, COVID hit the country that is in March, events has not really been a very successful or it's the, the, the business has not uh, you cannot say has thrived as it was before COVID so how have you been able probably to cope with that and probably make sure that uh, the business is still making you profits and what strategies have you adopted during this pandemic well I would also say maybe to give advice to other people who are also doing events it's not been easy for anyone people have maybe gone down the drain especially people who did not have maybe a second option in mm -hmm. terms of earning a livelihood yeah. But I would say that if you're able to study the market right now, mm -hmm. uh, the president moved the number of people to, who can attend maybe an event from 15 to 100. Mm -hmm. So they can maybe take advantage of that and maybe come up with packages which entail that. And also market themselves as uh, maybe focus on being very safe mm -hmm. in terms of Corona safe. Mm -hmm. Uh, focus on selling a package that is very safe to the client. Mm -hmm. So if you sit down and come up with strategies to package your, your, your services to your clients, I think it will serve basically. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, okay, we know that most young people, we want to Zaraka Sana. You want to start a business and you're making thousands. Yes. You want to probably uh, get a job and you're getting the, uh, like the same salary with someone yes. who has been there for 10 years. Yes. And we're not saying that young people don't have the right to be paid or to earn a living, but 
what patience, what values, what principles have you been able to adopt? Because I'm sure when you started the business, yes. it's not like you were making these very big profits that made you want to stay there. True. But regardless of how that's probably the beginning was, you made the decision every day to still choose your businesses, to yes. still uh, give your time and commit yourself to them. Yes. What has made you uh, probably be successful in that way? Yes, I think the first part is understanding that success is not a destination, it's a journey. Mm -hmm. You don't get to a point and say, I've reached maybe the pinnacle mm -hmm. or the crescendo of my success. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a journey. Mm -hmm. You keep on moving, making steps every day. Mm -hmm. And if you believe in that, you tend to also believe in the art of process, mm -hmm. the processes in life. Mm -hmm. And if you know that processes take time, mm -hmm. today you start as a, as a, as a small business mm -hmm. uh, entrepreneur, then the next day you've made steps mm -hmm. and move forward day by day. Mm -hmm. So I'd say, I would say that most people these days don't believe in the term process because yeah. there's so much influence out mm -hmm. there. People want to race, to run races yeah. that belong to other people. They mm -hmm. want to maybe compete with you and maybe you are not gifted the same or mm -hmm. maybe there are we're not passionate about the same thing. Mm -hmm. So I feel like if the youth try to embrace the, the aspect of processes and uh, learn to take it one day at a time and understand that you're never going to reach somewhere and say this is the pinnacle of my success. It's always going to be a journey. You're always going to be making steps day in, day out. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the best way to go, with, uh, to go about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, take life as a as a journey mm -hmm. other than as a destination you're going or a competition exactly you live your own pa passionate life uh -huh. on what you're passionate about ah, okay yes uh with all your projects you're able to work i'm sure you work with young people yes, yes. and you have a team and probably you're able to get to places where you want to because you share they share your vision what is it that you've seen in your employees mm -hmm. or people that you've got to you've gotten to work with uh, and they're young people yes. that you can probably tell a young person watching us tonight may it be a value that probably the camera yes. person who does a scoop with you yes. has uh, may it be the person who makes sure that they are following up on clients and at the mc Sefa event solution yes. what characters or what values have you seen in your members that you can share with us tonight uh one i would say that i appreciate my team and i appreciate the people i work with and one is that anybody who's working with a team, they mm -hmm. need to treat them equally. Uh, I've always been told to treat the, the, the janitor the same way you treat the CEO. Yeah, it's true. If you treat people like that, you tend to go far mm -hmm. because you respect people. Because mm -hmm. somebody who is working for you is also a dad to someone yeah. out there. And they're respected in their household. Mm -hmm. So I would say that one, that you need to be very strategic. People use, during our time growing up, we used to be told that we need to work hard. Mm -hmm. But this time, you might work hard and maybe not be very strategic. Yeah. You need to be very strategic. Um, the people I work with, maybe the team I've worked with over the years, uh, are people who understand how to strategize their career and maybe their system to make mm -hmm. sure it works for us. Mm -hmm. To make sure you can put things in order in a way that it can work. Mm -hmm. uh, so that you know, don't use your chest always. Sometimes you can just use your brains and it works. Mm -hmm. So if you're strategic, you'll be able to know what you're good at, what you're not good at, mm -hmm. what is selling, what is not selling, mm -hmm. how to approach a client, how mm -hmm. not to approach. So I think that's the best way. And the, their growth, if somebody is working maybe with me right now, my, my, my joy is that one day they will have their own brand. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not all that yet. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a process. Mm -hmm. When we are up there, maybe they will be also starting their own brand. That mm -hmm. would be my joy. Mm -hmm. So I, I think being very strategic is very important when it comes to business. Mm -hmm. yes. What would you say is the greatest challenge that you faced for the mm -hmm. time that you've been in business? Probably mm -hmm. something that you never really thought of mm -hmm. and this didn't happen and you're like, oh, wow. And how did you manage mm -hmm. to beat it or go past that? Uh, it's very interesting that we were talking about the same thing the other day. Mm -hmm. When you're doing a uh, business or maybe you're running an agenda and you're not uh, well known, mostly mm -hmm. in Kenya, people mm -hmm. tend to have that notion that hey, these are just Kaweda guys mm -hmm. trying to push their agenda. Mm -hmm. Maybe they don't have the influence mm -hmm. or maybe they don't have the, the ability to push for events or mm -hmm. big events or do those big events or big, big shows and all that. Mm -hmm. But people tend to discriminate you or maybe look down upon you mm -hmm. by face, fa face value. Mm -hmm. They tend to look at you and say, maybe this is a young guy, or can he or maybe make sales in my company or maybe help market my company. Mm -hmm. they, that, I think that's one of the biggest uh, 
biggest challenge mm -hmm. and maybe to maybe tell people out there who are trying to make a career in business and all that mm -hmm. don't don't be discouraged by such things people will tell you things you'll go to places and be chased away uh -huh. and uh, you'll go to places and they will say no we'll get back to you don't call yeah. us we'll call you yeah, and they never call those you. things those <laughs> things happen people <laughs> tend to think that on your first job you're going to be accepted or maybe on your first try it will work out well mm -hmm. you'll go to places where it won't work out uh -huh. we go to events I've, I've done events and I've been paid, That's they, they pay you, they roll up some money, then they pay you like this, <laughs> like they're greeting you, and they tell you we'll talk stronger. <laughs> and they never get, they, they, they never, never get reach back out. To you. So <laughs> I think it's a process, uh -huh. you, we, you need to appreciate the growth. And with time people start to respect you when they see that maybe you can command some uh, influence Authority or maybe you and can push some agenda, mm -hmm. they tend to respect you. Okay, yes. uh, as you wind up, branding. Yes. Branding is very important and as yes. you, t as you tell us how probably uh, branding has helped you. I would like you to touch on social media. Young people yes. have taken social media and they put anything that they want. Yes. And we've seen this cost many people opportunities. Sure. Just the other day, Ezekiel Motua was talking about how a very young person reached out to him yes. and he wanted uh, support to start a business and he was willing to give him 50,000 care shillings to yes. start the business. Yes. But when he went, he found this person as a very funny name as his name uh, on, mm. on Facebook. Yes. He just puts artist and yes. very very funny things and so what can young people do or adapt to as far as branding is concerned and the use of social media yes. well i think that we all take different lines in life we mm -hmm. all take different lines in terms of careers mm -hmm. and uh, livelihoods but mm -hmm. we tend to be brought together by social media mm -hmm. social media brought, brings everybody together whether you're doing a, a, a maybe an office job, mm -hmm. another person is doing entertainment, mm -hmm. we are all brought together by social media. Yeah. But we need to respect that platform. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a reason why our parents, or maybe the people who came before us, the older generation, uh, are not very uh, welcome into the aspect of social media mm -hmm. because they know what it means to maintain that image. Mm -hmm. Many people don't think about uh, what you'll be tomorrow, mm -hmm. or maybe what, where you'll be tomorrow. They want to entertain people, or maybe they want to create uh, an outlook out there that I'm cool or maybe I know about this and this and this. But maybe that doesn't work in the line of business you want to get into. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's actually going to defame you or maybe spoil yeah, your brand. Yeah, yeah, so I feel like such things, people need to be very careful when it comes to such things. Mm -hmm. I was looking at a friend of mine who was telling me to try and try and help them get a uh, get a job in the media mm -hmm. but the kind of content they post and they applaud is very 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 shaky <laughs> so nobody will give you a job when you've posted such things mm -hmm. they won't in the in the corporate world people don't consider your personal threat or this is what i believe in this no we come here we work ethically yeah. so people need to consider that and it, they will be able to move forward okay 30 seconds your uh, advice to young people watching us tonight yes what is your uh, final thoughts okay i think i've already said much of it but life is a process respect your elders and uh make sure you uh gain or maybe protect your sanity make sure you don't get influenced by the world or the wave in the world make sure you always believe in what you believe in and move with it okay yes. thank you very much sefa you've heard from sefa a very young person just like you is watching us tonight go go after your dreams uh, pursue your passions as much as you want and as Sefa said be very careful about social media whatever you put up there be sure if you walk in an interview and people ask you for your social media uh, probably pages that you're going to be so confidently giving that thank you very much for joining us my name is Patricia Marioki we meet again tomorrow same time on Y254